When I start, well, when I made my first TV shows, that's, that's pure coincidence. That's that, uh, it was two, three episodes of my uh, TV uh, well, horrors. And then, um, for, well, I came here, I came to, to, to England um, on a scholarship, and I began making a documentary on an American film director called Joseph Rossi. And I ran out of money, and I went back to Japan, and I wrote a horror story uh, called Ghost Atlas, which uh, is a, a horror a set in Mika's film studio. And because I thought it's going to be, uh, you know, budgetary-wise, it's going to be, uh, you know, it could happen like a, you know, start, oh no, just three hundred thousand dollars, um, uh, you know, and we, we needed to shoot within uh, ten days, and 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 so you know, actually, the genre horror uh, to me is uh, purely coincidental, but somehow. My personality, uh, which is very um, insecure and never is it's helping me a lot to make horror films. So, I don't know. Um, <laughs> now I do accept that's probably my fate to make, uh, uh, kind of continuously making horror films. Yeah. Right, uh, so, so you did that that first film. Uh... Ghost Actors, also known as the Kung Fu Club in 1996. Um, how did it happen for them for... Uh, uh, how, how did you went from that, from there, uh, from Ghost Actors, uh, to, to doing the film version of the, of the, of the very success, successful Koji Suzuki books, uh, Ring and Lady Lightwater? Um, were you were you um, hired to do Ring uh, based on the on the success of, of that first film, Ghost Actors? Uh, yes and no. I, actually, the Ghost Actors was not successful at all. Uh, um, you know, I, I I think I can count the um, number of the audience, um, and you know because it it was. It started like a you know late show, like from 9 p.m. and 9 p.m. is very late, in, in, even in Tokyo, um, because it's a horror. But the the theater decided to move on to to morning show, which is like 10 a.m. and no audience whatsoever. But when when it, it, it was uh, still a time, the VHS tape. So VHS tape seller put the promotional catchphrase. Uh, well, this film, Ghost Actors, is so s scary that uh, audience cannot watch it. Couldn't watch it at night, so then move to the morning, which is completely <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> And, but, but somehow, you know, yes, because the, the rumors about Ghost Circus kind of uh, was on the world, um, became on words by mass effects among the actors, uh, because it's about the film production, so among the actors and the crew members and the producers. And the producers on Mingu, uh, uh, there were three of them. They agreed to hire me to, to make the um, Well, uh, prior to the film Wingo, uh, there was a two hour um, TV drama based on the same story. And after Wingo, um, there were TV series. So there's plenty of Wingo movies. Actually, you know, uh, just recently, there are. 3D version, it's not Bingo, but it's called Sadako. Sadako is the name of the Sadako 3D, Sadako 3D number two, uh, being shown in Japan right now. It's a little bit comical. Did you, did you like that, that version? The, the first, uh, yeah, when actually 
when you are about to start shooting the, the complex, I went to see Sadako 3D number one last summer uh, with my, my assistant directors. Now, I was laughing out loud. Um, you know, I mean, you know, it's not a bad thing because, you know, because it, the film was so successful, people really laughed in the theaters because Sadako's you know, phys physicality or the expression of Sadako as ghosts uh, was so, I have to say, funny. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a spider walk thing. When the Sadako came out from the well, not like mine, um, you know, it's a spider walk scene. Uh, and Sadako's uh, legs looks like a, what's a twisted uh, bread. Uh, it's a, like a, like a, not a croissant, but a, a really like a bread. Yeah, but, but, but yeah, French baguette, but twisted. <laughs> With a little bit of sugar.